Hey guys, Blake and Jeff here. I'm Blake, he's Jeff, and this is Fan Club, the show where each and every week we review and discuss a movie with an avid fan base. This week's movie is the 2002 wow. follow-up to our Blade series. Yeah. Blade 2. Imaginatively titled. Directed by Guillermo del Toro and written by David S. Goyer, starring Wesley Snipes, Chris Christopherson, Ron Perlman is in this one. Yeah, well, that's del Toro. And Norman Reedus. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Jeff, do you want to know what IMDb thought this movie was about? Yeah, let's do it. Blade forms an uneasy alliance with the Vampire Council in order to combat the Reapers who are feeding on vampires. Yeah, fucking that's nailed, true. That's, nailed that's exactly it. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, it's not hard to really nail not. this movie's It's pretty simplistic. Plot. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of this movie? It's okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, I, I have to, it has to have been a very long time since I've seen this. I was, like I, I was so excited to watch this. Yeah. Because I remember really liking this movie. I remember liking it when it came out. I played the Blade 2 video game a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. It kind of sucked. I mean, yeah. I mean, is it like a generic? Yeah, like a, nothing special, really. But like, I was more into the first one. I, I, I actually do think the first one was, was kind of more interesting. I, just, I remember being so much better. And I, and I think yeah. it's because Guillermo del Toro was attached. Probably. That I'm like, oh, it's got to be better. Like, he's better monster design, better outfits. Wow. Well. <laughs> well, Ron Perlman. Yeah. Donnie Yen. Yeah, Donnie Yen. I mean, this movie had everything going for it. It had a lot going for it, sure. Uh, it didn't quite capitalize as much as it should have. <sighs> yeah. It's just a bit of a bummer. Yeah. And, and, I mean, honestly, like, if you watch it now, knowing what Del Toro has done, it's literally, like, you can see it's the dress rehearsal for Hellboy. Oh, yeah. It's down to, like, everything oh, yeah. about it is a dress rehearsal for it. I think I put that in my uh, I put it in my, in my notes, notes somewhere. Sure. But I was like, man, those, the, like, when the assassins first show up, yep. those costumes remind me of, like, the, ch ch yep. ch like, dude in Hellboy. Oh, yeah. And then the eyes and, like, the sort of, like, the facial design, that structure reminds me of Fishman, which would eventually lead yeah, to Age Shape Sapien. of Water. Yep. It's just like, oh, like. I agree. This whole thing was Hellboy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In that regard, it's like kind of cool, but yeah. But then I mean, I'd rather just watch Hellboy. Yeah, exactly. I, that's kind of I need to go watch Hellboy again. Well, we're gonna watch it for this. We're gonna have to watch it for this. Yeah, because there's three of them now. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to watch it again because I want to see if I actually do think it's better than this movie. Yeah, because I like I I know that I like the uh, the Golden Army. Golden Army was better. Yeah, it I is. know I like that it's one really a lot. Good one. Because it leans sure. more into like the fantasy stuff. Oh yeah, it gets like wild. Yeah, but like I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure the first one's decent. I like, think it still holds up. Yeah, I think it holds up. Well, we'll we, see. We, we thought that. this one hold, held up. <laughs> yeah. so I don't know. These graphics, like holy shit! Oh my shit. god, dude, the CGI and some of those fights. I with blade. Oh my god! I know. Like one of my one of my notes is just simply the, that rubbery CGI is horrid. Like so, this is 2002. So this is right around the time of you know like the Matrix Reloaded and. Mm -hmm. All those movies that like really just started leaning into that CGI yeah. effect, but like for humans and specifically yeah. human combat. Yeah. And it's just like, it's atrocious. Oh, it's bad. It's so rubbery. People are like, Whoa. I mean, it's, it's basically like, okay, if you haven't seen it for a while and you haven't watched it before you watch this, mm -hmm. it's basically like the burly bra from Matrix. Yeah. In, in that like every, like those characters, that's what Blade looks like in this. Yeah. In these sequences. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, just rubbery. Doesn't look human at all. Yeah. Um, my note for it was the vampire dissolves were better in this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Much better. Yeah. And we actually were kind of fans of it in the first one, but yeah. they actually looked better in this one. Um, but yeah, the really bad full CGI blades were just terrible. So we swapped out skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> skeleton bats. Yes. Which had that like old like uh, Conan the Barbarian like horrible kind of special sure. effects look. Yeah. That early CGI. Yeah. So definitely. it's like 
it's like, yeah, it looks like shit, but it's kind of charming because it looks so shitty and old. Sure. This is like, there's nothing charming about it. It's like, it's too close to modern CGI, but like bad. Yeah, of course. So it's just like, it's just outdated modern CGI and it just looks like, oh God. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Well, how did you like the scene in the beginning when Nomak is in the chair and they're going to draw his blood and he's crying. Finger things. Well, he's crying yeah. and then he does the and classic starts laughing. starts laughing. Oh, I mean, classic, dude. I love it. It's straight up. I love it. it. It's not only is it a signal that, you know, this dude is, this dude is not in as much danger as you think he is. It's uh, it's what in the anime industry we call main character energy. Yeah. It's when you realize like, oh shit, I'm fucking with a main character. Yes. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it also then clues you in right away. Oh, this is probably the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which we should probably already know. Blade's always the good guy in these. Huh? I mean, who knows what they do with the new one? Maybe they'll make sure. him the bad guy and all the Avengers have to fight him. That'd be interesting. That would be cool. I don't know. You think he can take Avenger powers? No. <laughs> I don't think so either. No. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, well, who do we have left? Oh, we still have Thor left. Like, no. Yeah, no. He can't. <laughs> no, he can't take on the he God of Thunder. can't take Thor? Come on. <laughs> I don't even think he could take Groot. No, I mean, Groot's like super powerful. Groot's super powerful. He probably couldn't even take Rocket Raccoon. That's true. Rocket Raccoon, given enough time, he's like Tony Stark. He's like Batman. Give him enough time, yeah. he'll plan for anything you do. Yeah. He'll devise it. He'll make some little bomb in like a second. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 He'd be dead. Uh, one of my notes here was, is there anything cooler than sliding down a ladder? If there is, I've never heard of it. Right? I love that. We watched one. Not just one. Not just two. Three. Not just three. Four, because three I'm the fourth guys. guy. Yeah, and he had... He had bare hands. Yeah, he didn't have gloves on. So I'm assuming Blade had to have like laced it with silver, right? Because they don't make those out of silver. Right. <laughs> So people would be stealing ladders exactly. like left and right. Yeah. So yeah. he had to have like that because we know he like set the car up as a trap at the end so they couldn't get out of the alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he had planned it all, right? It, I mean, that's a little weak, right? Like he couldn't just hop over to the car. I mean, they were on their motorcycles, just get off and like go make a run for it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, you could. I, I don't understand why people run in this movie. They run away from Blade and then they like run to the end of the hallway, turn around and make a stance. Like, fucking run! Yeah. Well, I have a note. My note is, the bad guys were disrespecting Blade's fighting skills this entire movie. Yeah. Henchmen are told to just kill him already, hand to hand, (laughs) even though the vampire set up and trained a team for two years just to try and take him on. Yeah. And they didn't win. Of course not. Jesus. I mean, this team was... Is cocky even the right word for what these fuckos were? I don't know, man. I mean, like, the whole... I, and I said it out loud when we were watching. I yeah. was like, I hate all of this. Of course. Because, like, the whole... Ridiculous. Just, just, like, the pan across in every... So I, I, I said... This was a note about Blade, but like I should have amended it to include everybody. But I said Blade's extra behavior is turned up to 150% in this movie. True. And I was like, all the sword flourishes, the one-liners, the flips, the cape swooshes. Then there was like little altars where his like sword would sit. Mm -hmm. And like everybody just had like, everybody was so fucking extra. Like they had like weird little pads on like just like one arm and the guy's like standing all like. Yeah. But it was, it was so video gamey, so like it, it's not even comic booky. It's just it's extra. I mean, okay. I I agree with you. I do think that comic booky is what he was going for. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't didn't work. I, I, I didn't like it. I basically put that this was uh vampire X-Men complete with uniforms at the end. Yeah. Oh, totally. That's how I I took it as like he's treating this like the X-Men. They all have their own ability. Even though they're really just vampires and they don't have special abilities, but they that, all have their own like unique characteristic. Yeah, I think that's what he, yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay, because I can definitely see that now. It's like the, the weird little hairstyles, the weapon mm-hmm. choices. Because it was like, yeah, like this guy isn't, you know, he's not, he doesn't have a superpower that, you know, has like, like an X-Men would have with like swords. Yeah. But he's like the Asian dude. So he's got to wear... 
he wears black like modern armor, yeah. but it looks like a samurai like yes, does. outfit. And you're just like, what the fuck? Come on. Yeah. Starting the movie, there's there's like no talking. Yeah. Besides the part where like he gets sat down in the chair, Normac or Nomac or whatever his no, name is. Yeah. Um, that little scene, there's like a little bit of talking. Tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. Then after that, it's like Blade shows up and it's just like fight, 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 slide down some ladders, keep fighting in the alleyway. Just keep like fighting. And it's just like, yeah. fuck, man. Like, there were parts of this where I was just like, I was getting bored because I'm just like. Uh, it's just fight after fight after fight. Yeah. Which is the problem I started to have with John Wick 3. Oh, John Wick 3 is wild. There's just fight after the fight dog, after The fight. dog scene in yeah. particular is. You know, and I love John Wick. Oh, yeah. But it just, after a while, you get numb to it. Yeah. And it starts to not have any impact at all. Now, here's a question. Okay. Who would win in a fight? John Wick or Blade? John Wick. I mean, ab- yeah. I mean, come on. Like, if it was John Wick or Thanos, John Wick. John Wick. Easy. John Wick. John Wick, before Thanos could even bring his hand up to make the snap, shot John Wick would have shot him in the head <laughs> three times, twice on the way down to the ground. Yeah. He would have shot him six times in the knees. Exactly. And then 14 times in the head. Yeah. On his way down. Exactly. Then... John Wick would have taken the time stone and he would have reversed time. He would have done it again just for fun. Just to fuck with him. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, why not? Just to do it cleaner. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, you know what he would do? Hmm. Because he's famous for this. He would rewind time, then he would use the other stone to change it into a pencil and kill you with the pencil. Pencil fuck him. Because that's what he does. I, I think the biggest problem I had with the fighting thing is is the sequence at the beginning where the two assassins show up in his place and they're there to just deliver a message. Oh, spoilers for Blade 2. Spoilers. All of Blade, everything. Um, They show up to give him a message, but Whistler shoots at him, so they go into attack mode. And then it's just a lengthy fight between Blade and these two people. I mean, back and forth and back and forth. Half the fight is between computerized graphics. Exactly. Especially like in front of the lights. Oh, oh that was so terrible. It was bad. Um, but it, it's the worst kind of fighting. It's the kind of fighting that, number one, it's early in the movie. You know nothing's going to happen. Right. Number two, it literally leads to nobody being hurt. It's it's one of those fights where like where they're demonstrating the equality and power, but like that needs to be the fight that him and the final boss have. Yeah, that needs to be the one that you drag out a little bit to show like they're basically equal, but like something's gonna happen that Blade gets the upper hand, yeah. and it's usually like his wits or his like his special whatever makes him special, yeah. his daywalker abilities, whatever. But yes, it was like I'm equally matching you two with like my sword and its like sheath, like using both as like yeah. blah 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 but like nobody's getting hurt punches are like they're connecting punch. it's like that dragon ball z 15 episodes of like yeah equal punching before someone uses like a crazy exactly attack. yeah and it's just like oh my god yeah yeah it's, it's exhausting and it boring yeah. <laughs> i made a note here and i said Ooh. i said can you blush and i said they just had to top the uncle tom line from the first movie i mean t- Guys, I don't know. I mean, full disclosure, guys. Two thousand and two. It was a different year. So it was a whole different time. It was a whole different decade. I mean, it was eighteen years ago now. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a long... that's a, that's an entire adult child. Yeah, that was a long time ago. We used to say stuff like that just for fun, just to kind of you yeah. know. It was a, like a little jab at our friends. You exactly. Know? Like, hey, exactly. Can you, can you our, blush? our black friends, we would come to them and we'd say, "Hey, can you blush?" Yeah. And then our black friends, like, later would, you know, kill us in a crazy way. And then they would look at us and say, can you blush? And then cut us in half. Cut us in half. And then, yeah. Which didn't make quite as much sense because it's like, well, yeah, I can blush. I'm, I'm a white guy. Yeah. So. True. Like, what? <laughs> hmm. But can they blush? Can vampires blush? I don't know. But do I don't, do I don't they have, have blood anymore? I don't understand what that meant. Because it, it seems like they do, right? Because you, 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 like, feed on their blood. Yeah. So they have to have so blood. you would fill your own body with blood. Yeah. It's just cold. Yeah, you're and right. apparently blue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Because if you blush, wouldn't you then be blue? Yeah, so maybe the, maybe the fucking... Maybe he's blushing all the time. Yeah, maybe the king dude is just blushing all the time. Uh, so that goes to my... How old was that dude? 
Oh, uh, like he had to be like one of the first vampires, right? Yeah, right, like 10,000 years old or something. Like that was some like Salem's Lot shit. Yeah, I, like I started like, I started to get annoyed in this movie with how like the variety of like vampires. There's no there was, consistency. Yeah, there's too much going on because I'm like, okay, well now this guy bleeds blue and then this yeah. one's leaking green shit and I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is going on here? Like, Yeah, it's kind of wild. Why do they look different? Why are they like... Yeah, I just didn't get I it. Don't, I don't understand. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Norman Reedus, what do you think of his character? Scum. Scud. Excuse like me. stud, remember? Chud. Yeah, Chud. Uh, old Chudster. Um, I, I made it I, here. I'm not going to read it out loud. I didn't care for him. Yeah. I didn't like him from the beginning. Yeah. I had a note here, but I don't want to read that loud. What was your note? I was like, I think it doesn't. <laughs> but I don't like second guess. I don't want to say that out loud. Well, if just, you just say so, it like that. If I say it like that? Yeah. I think that's fine. It also allows some people who don't know what that word would be. <laughs> to look it up? <laughs> or to just imagine what word you're talking about. What the fuck is, what is the W word? But yeah, Norman Reedus acting like a W word was sad for me to see. Yeah. There, I said it. Yeah. Sue me. I agree. Yeah, it just... Uh... Why did he have to act like that? Why couldn't he just be like... The dude that, know. why can't we have like a nerdy dude in this, you know? Yeah. Like a real Donatello. Like someone just come in here and they're just I like, I need you some little like fucking exactly, bomb. Exactly, exactly. Like, Blade Trinity. Isn't Ryan Reynolds like a bit of a bitch in that? Like he's like a goofball. I don't remember anything about Blade Trinity. All I remember I is just I fucking Jessica. saw it and I don't remember, I remember her ass. I, see, I don't remember her ass. I remember her wearing an iPod and fighting. Oh yeah, she, she needed, does that. Yeah, she needed to listen to music yeah. while she, oh, I can't wait to get to that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, no, I agree with you. I, I don't think there's any reason that you can't have just a normal, like, nerdy character. Yeah. Okay, my my problem with Norman Reedus' character, I guess, is more my problem with Blade. Blade would never have that dude. Except he says, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. But he didn't know about him from the beginning. He did, remember? No, because he said, I knew about you, I knew ever since they turned you. He didn't come to him turned. They turned him. But he wasn't... Wait, no, because he wasn't turned at the end. Yeah. He, no, because he said that I'd rather be no, their no, no. pet than their... No, 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 not that. He means ever since they made you a familiar. So when did they make him a familiar? At some point in those two years, but not from the beginning. When he started with Blade, he was just with Blade. Then they turned him. Yeah, because he found them when the two girls were fucking him up, the yeah. vampire girls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, they turned him. Because that's the other thing. If Blade was taking on somebody new, do you not think he would check every fucking part of their body? Yeah. He would. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'd be taking on women if I were Blade. <laughs> well, that's a whole different conversation. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to check every part of you, girl. I mean... Honest, I can't. I can't do it again. Leanne yelled at me for. Doing it. She she said, "I thought you were keeping these cleaner." That's and clean. I was like, "That's clean." That's uh, that. It's just suggestive. No kink shaming. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't like the kink shaming. I think if people want to suck their fingers and fuck each other with their fingers, then they should be able to. Yeah, I mean, do what you feel, but. Yeah, she she wasn't happy with that one. Well, but, I don't know. Whatever. That's even more reason to do it. <laughs> you did the worm one. <laughs> okay, yeah, so my problem is uh -huh. Blade would never have taken that dude. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. He would never, ever let that dude call him B all the time. Are you kidding me? I know. Now, granted, after he's turned, I understand why Blade's just keeping him around. Because again, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. But, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the devil all the time. Exactly, <laughs> devil all the time. Watch the trailer. <laughs> that's free plug for Netflix. Hey, that's how that's how we're peppering Netflix in our, sponsor. That's how we're peppering in our uh, trailers and news sections. Exactly. Yeah. We got rid of them. You thought. Yeah. Um, Everything we've said in these 
we've peppered in little things. People got to go back and find them now. Yeah, you just have to go back through every single video, watch all the way through. Multiple times. You have to make sure you like every single video or else it won't show up. It won't work unless you like it. That's right. You also have to subscribe because you get special content when you subscribe. Exactly. So subscribe. Yeah. Saying there's no rhyme or reason to like the rules. Yeah. In this, it's like plot dependent. Whatever you need at the time is how the vampires will react to bullets or anything else. I mean, I thought Twilight was going to be the only inconsistent vampire series that we were going to see. I don't think so. Hopefully Underworld doesn't pull this shit. Hopefully those movies are seamless. (laughs) (laughs) If I remember correctly, I think they are. Yeah, I hear Lynn Wiseman's a real stickler for quality control. (laughs) Why waste the head bomb on Chud? And I was like, why not explode it on the actual vampire? That's what I said. So rather than kill Reinhardt, Blade makes a point of blowing up Scud and not improving his situation in any way. It was a fucking waste. Yeah. Just to psych out the audience. Just to do one of those fucking double fake out fucking, oh my God, I hate him and I love him at the same time. They're so good. They're so effective. It makes no fucking sense. I know it's fucking dumb, but it's it's. I mean, I mean, because how it, cool. how much more interesting would it have been if he had just blown his head up, and then Scud is like, "What the fuck?" And then he turns at him. He's like, "I've been on to you since they fucking turned you." Yeah, I guess I see. I do understand how flipping it. It's not as dramatic. It's not as impactful. Sure. So I get it. I get it. Plus. Plus, well, you have to have the fight. Okay, hold on. Well, between been, he and Blade. What would have been better is he pushes the button and nothing happens, and that's when Chud gives his whole speech about like, oh, I, you know, I'm a, I'm one of them, and I'd rather be their pet than their cattle or whatever. Yeah. And then he, he does all that shit, whatever. And like Reinhardt can even take it out of his head, but he's still holding it. Yeah. And then he goes, yeah, I've been on to you since they turned you. Whatever. And then he fucking blows up, and Reinhardt's still holding it and just blows up. That would have been tight. Sure. But instead, he like has to go grab it. And we just blow up the human and waste it. I'm like, the human you could have just shot once anywhere in the body, and he's probably dead. I mean, Norman Reedus in this? You could have just punched him in the face, and he would have died. Oh, yeah, with, like, Blade's vampire strength? Yeah. Yeah, he would have fucking caved caved his whole face into him. Yeah. What sort of under-the-floor vent system does this place have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did Whistler know the layout well enough to get to Blade so fast? And how did he shoot the lawyer through the metal floor? And how many shots does it take to kill a human lawyer? More than 10 for Whistler, apparently. I counted. He got shot all over the place, but I was like, when you look at the floorboard, there's only like there's little, like holes. little holes. So, like, yeah, he, so to... he had to go. <laughs> it was so fast. Okay. And also, how hard is it to incapacitate a vampire for Whistler? Apparently, it's just a few hard kicks. Because he kicked Reinhardt and like fucking knocked his ass out. Well, Whistler is... Has vampire strength I don't care. Too, right? I don't care. We've seen them fucking take tons of fucking kicks from people. Blade was kicking people and they were still getting up. Yeah, that's true. Well, this I'm... motherfucker just went boom, boom, and he was out. Well, because he's, you know, he's seasoned. He's got a lot of... With great p- wisdom comes great power. Or whatever. I don't know. There was too many. There were too many double crosses and yeah, like just stupid. Like, and then there's, of course, I mean, it's uh, every movie does this, but like the the classic, like we're not gonna kill him, but like we're gonna fuck him up a little bit, and then you know, like get him, grab, like bring him to the other room. It's like, what, what are you bringing him anywhere for? Like, just kill his ass. Well, they wanted his blood. Yeah, I mean, that everybody be- wants his blood. They all want his blood, but like, why keep Whistler alive? Why'd you handcuff him and drag him to that other room? Yeah, I don't know. Again, just like kill his ass. Like, I agree. They blew up your damn pet, whatever, in front of you. I'm like, sure, that was more Blades doing, but yeah. I, I don't ask me, uh, dude. I'm weird. Yeah, you know, especially I'm since by leaving him alive, he destroyed all the embryos that you had. Yeah, that was a fucked up scene. Yeah. I mean, Whistler don't fuck around. Like, I was going to say, like, I don't really like him. But then when I saw that, I was like, all right, I get it. Like, I, I kind of like him. I mean, well, I mean, we knew. He doesn't like adult vampires. Why would he like pre-children vampires? Well, it's like the whole, like, it's, yeah, and it's like that bullshit, like, little, uh, you know, moral kind of ethical little dilemma of, like, if you kill go back Hitler. in time, would you kill baby Hitler? Yeah. Of course. And people are like, really, you'd kill a baby? I'm like, it's Hitler. Like, 
I'm like, you if are... I know what it's going to become, yes, every fucking day. I look at people like that and I'm like, you're a fucking Nazi. You're a fucking Nazi. Like, if you sympathize with, it doesn't matter if it's a baby or not. You sympathize with Hitler, you fucking Nazi. Yeah, like, at what point does he become Hitler to you? Always and forever. Always. He's always, always. Hitler. Because you don't have time to go back and, like, reshape his mind. Oh, I'll, I'll, take, it, I'll <laughs> take it further than that. His mother is always Hitler. If, if someone went back in time, they're just like, oh, I went back too early. Like, I, it, he's not born yet. I can't even kill baby Hitler. I gotta kill his, his pregnant... I gotta kill the pregnant mom. I'd be like, yeah, go yeah. for it. I mean... The only contribution she sure. makes to the world... Is Hitler. Is evil. Yeah. That's true. You're right. You're there right. is no moral... F- well, I don't know. Because you could say she never did anything evil herself. So I would say you don't kill her. You just cut the unborn baby out of her body and kill it in front of her. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. They already figured out how to make it so that silver doesn't hurt them and that garlic doesn't hurt them. Mm-hmm. They just needed the sunlight, right? So once you do that, isn't that kind of the alpha vampire now? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So even as a purebred vampire, wouldn't you say, turn me into that? So that's where the whole movie falls apart for me. (laughs) Okay. Because, like, yes, there's a part of this where I look at this whole plan and I go, why is any vampire objecting to this? Right? The ultimate goal of this entire scheme is that these crazy-ass genetically modified vampires will become perfect. Yeah. And then take over the entire globe, including all all inferior vampires and all humans yeah Isn't that the ultimate goal wasn't that the goal of the first movie well again you run into that problem of no food anymore but they wouldn't need it because it'd be perfect they could genetically code something into there where they didn't need to feed off of blood if they can get that yes yeah which and i they think they would i think it would be a trial eventually of like, yeah keeping up with but know. then you'd have to keep at least some humans alive for a while yeah, or at least, yeah, blood banks, and like there'd have to be enough blood around for a while. Yeah, you'd have to do it for a while until you perfect that part of it where they no longer need blood. Well, I mean, like, what? It only took them how long to, perf- to, to get silver and garlic out of it? A couple of years, maybe? I guess. I don't know. Did he say what the timeline was? No, it seemed pretty quick, though. Yeah, I would think so. Then again, this this whole thing, this scheme could could have taken place That's what I'm saying. simultaneously right. to the events of the first movie, somewhere right. else. Like, yeah, who knows? Yeah. This could be like a thousand year thing. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we have no idea. It could be taking as long as actual like human evolution. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe if the vampires just wait, eventually it'll just evolve. Yeah, it'll just, just evolve. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. Instead of finding out how to like fuck up all your people and get them all like, you know, goofy and crazy and like. Yeah. They're, they're like they're animalistic. They're not even like human. Like are not like they're not even like sentient at some point like those reapers are just like wild yeah they were but that's i guess that's the problem those are the ones he turned yeah so it's like instead of focusing on all this shit how about you guys just like figure out how to really kill blade like you're you're pretty much only obstacle right in the entire world true besides i guess the hulk and spider-man and the rest of them that are out there well we'll see we'll see (laughs) reinhardt says to blade i'm gonna say what my dad said before he killed my mom If you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. I said, what does that even mean? What situation was his mom and dad in where that statement would actually make sense? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like he was trying to have his wife killed. They didn't do it. Yeah, by like a hitman. So he had to do it himself. But then he says it in front of his son. Yeah. Because his son obviously heard it. Yeah. So he says it in front of his son. Maybe he wanted his son to kill his mother. And he couldn't do and he it. He couldn't do it, so he had to do it. And it was a life lesson for him. Wild. I, I mean, mean, if that's the case, I it like it. It kind of even, explains Reinhardt. I like it even more. Yeah. Because that's that's badass. I think that that makes the most sense to me. Yeah. I had one other thing, and I want you to correct me if I'm wrong because I didn't hear anything about this anywhere in there. I said no mention of the previous doctor woman that was with him in Blade. Not even a throwaway line. Nope. It didn't happen. I was expecting it during the narration. I thought something. Yeah, it didn't happen during the narration. She wasn't even mentioned during nope, the narration. not at all. Um, just completely out of the movie. And I think one of the biggest problems with this movie is that we didn't have a character like her. We had no human. Had no audience. Audience surrogate. surrogate. Yeah. yeah. It was just like the closest thing we had was was Chud. But like he's a 
Well, dickhead. It's, it's, uh, I think it's because by Blade 2, they feel like Blade is the audience surrogate, Div- which is bonkers. No. <laughs> okay, here's my other problem. I did think of another problem that I had with it. Yeah. And he goes along with Scud. Number one, he would never have Scud. Okay. But number two, <laughs> they made an entire point of the entire first movie that Blade works alone. Yeah. He has no one else with him. Whistler's the only thing. He melded into this fucking group like he's been working with people his entire fucking life. Like he's been commanding troops in the field his entire fucking life. Yeah. That makes no sense. And it totally changes Blade's character from the first movie. Yeah. That's weird. Blade in the first movie is like, he's like the like a ronin. Yeah. He's like a samurai without a master, without a clan. Exactly. Because he's the only one like him. Yeah. And he's still the only one like him. Yeah. I mean, like, giving him that title of Daywalker is like a... It's a samurai... Th- There's so much, like, Asian imagery and all this shit. Sure. That, like, yes, it's like it's very much a samurai ronin thing of, like, you were given the title of Daywalker, just like, you know, lone wolf or, like, whatever. Like, yeah. Yeah, watching him integrate with this group so seamlessly... And just kind of like, kind of, he, he, I think he kind of enjoyed it. I'm saying he, he, he like kind of fell in love with the girl. Yeah, like, yeah, man, this is wild. This was not the blade we knew from the first movie. He got along better with vampires who he kills all the time. Yes, he got along with like six of them, four of which are like jacked dudes. <laughs> yeah, better than he got along with the human scientist woman who was hot. Yeah. These are the 10 highest grossing films that came out the same year as Blade 2. Okay. Number 10. And the, before I even get to this list, can I just say, the early 2000s, fucking golden age of cinema. I mean, like, some of the best fucking franchises, epic movies of all time came out in the early 2000s. I mean, yeah, maybe. Either kicked it off. Yeah. Yeah. You know, happened during. I mean, that there were time. definitely some big ones. Oh, there's some huge ones. Like all of my favorite shit. Well, that's is because in the 2000s, early 2000s. Yeah, because how old were you when this came out? It doesn't matter though. Like here, I'll get to some of the movies. Number ten. You were twelve. Dude. <laughs> Number ten. Okay. Minority Report. That's a solid movie. Solid. Also, fantastic game. Number nine. My big fat Greek wedding. All right. <laughs> I mean. Number eight. Ice Age. Yeah. Number seven. Signs. Nice. It was actually on the other day. We watched it. It's a good movie. I still I like that movie. It's fine. Yeah. Number six, Die Another Day. Not a good Bond, though. Yeah. None of, none of the Pierce Brosnan Bonds are good. GoldenEye's good. Uh, number five, no, it's not. Men in Black 2. <laughs> All right, now we're... Okay. All right, fine. I mean... I can see there's a couple movies on this list coming up. All right. Yeah. All right, it's so number five, Men in Black 2. Not great. But still, Men in Black, like a great franchise. Is it, though? To me, it's one good movie, and that movie is not even as good Fuck you. as people remember. Three is good. Fuck you, dude. Are you serious? The only good thing in three is Josh Brolin. Yeah, three is good. But as a whole, the movie is shit. And the first one's only good because Tommy Lee Jones is awesome. Number four. Here we go. Winning us back. Hey. Star Wars Episode Two: Attack oh. of the Clones. Yeah. Universally loved as probably the best of the prequel series. Absolute shite. But then the there's some good stuff in it. The man. top three here, all bangers. I mean, yeah, they are. Number three, Spider Man. Yeah. Yes. It's a good movie. Yes. Not a bad movie. Number two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, yeah. It's the bad one. That's the bad one. Number one, with a bullet though, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Solid. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Is Blade 2 better than Blade? No. I don't I Here's the thing. Some of the effects, the burning up effect, better. Yeah. His costume, better. Yeah. Uh other than that, the attitude is the same. The mm-hmm. one-liners are like just as bad. I mean, cuz it's Goyer. Yeah, they're I just mean, as bad and stupid. Yeah. There were more hero landings in this. Quite yeah. a lot. Yeah. The rubbery CG is just inexcusable. It's terrible. Especially because, like, it was just choreographed fighting. It just doesn't need to happen. There could have been other ways to do that. <sighs> that being said, I think Blade 1 was better. 
Okay. What do you think? I think they're about the same for different reasons. Like they have, they'd have different strengths to them. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't say this is worse than Blade, but I wouldn't say it's better. Then let's ask this question. Okay. Which one did you enjoy more? <sighs> yeah, it's tough. That's kind of how, like, that's what yeah. I was kind of going off of. I, I think the the more like nomadic Ronin attitude of Blade in the first movie, yeah. I, I I like that better than this. This team up like yeah, goofy. I think so. I I guess I would say yes because I liked Blade himself better in the first one. I'd have to say that one. Also, like Blade, the first Blade feels like an actual lived in world. Yeah, this feels like it exists in another dimension. True. Like this, this feels like it like it's nowhere near our world. Even yeah. when you're in his place, it doesn't feel like it did in the first one. No, not at, at all. all. Yeah, it feels bizarre. So, yeah, I, the I mili- guess that's true. The, the military base of California. But that's also Industries. because they're in Europe. But again, Europe doesn't look like that. No, of course not. But it's not going to feel like the, in the heart of New York City. True. But yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I would, I would say Blade was better in Blade, so it had to have been a little better. A little bit. Because they got the character of Blade. I guess when I think of Blade, I think of him in that movie. Yeah, yeah. So that's what's etched in my mind. That's what Blade is. And this didn't feel right. Jeff. Yes. Was this movie better than your favorite series of all time? Mm Mm-hmm. Star Trek. Star, Star Blazers? Starship Yamato. No, keep going. Star Wars? There it is. Was this better than Star Wars? No. Okay. No, it's not. Fair. Um, Blake. Hmm. Was Blade 2 better? Blade 2 made in 2002. Than your favorite series of all time, Hmm. Airbud. No, wait. That doesn't sound right. No, that's not right. I had to think about it for a second. I was like, that's not right. Pippi Longstocking. Nope. It's somebody's name. Shit, Harry that? Palmer. Harry Palmer sounds right. That sounds close. Sounds close. Um, uh, no. Harry Potter. Ah. Harry Potter. The prequel to The Crimes mm-hmm. of Grindelwald. <laughs> the. No, the sequel. Series. The sequel. Excuse to, me, yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Jesus. Remember, Fantastic Beast was first. It's like I'm not a. It's like I'm not a fan of best. It's like I'm not a fan of Fantastic Beast. Yeah, it's like we hate it. Uh, is it better than my favorite series of all time, Harry Palmer? It no. Yeah. Okay. You just can't beat the boy who lived. I mean, someday we might. Someday, we haven't gotten there yet, but we'll be doing the Mummy pretty soon. So we'll, but, you we'll know, see. If if Voldemort couldn't do it, yeah, I don't know if we will. Fucking three times. I know. Dude's a bitch. Anyways, we don't talk about Harry Potter on this show. That's true. All right, well, that's going to do it for this week's episode and Blade 2. Uh, if you want to suggest any movies to us yeah, or just tell us how much you love us, you can do so by going to blakeandjeff.com and uh, find out where we are on the internet. Yep. We're all leave, over the place. Leave a comment on any of our videos. Yep. Um, Rate, review, and subscribe to us on iTunes, yep. the podcast version, uh, and then you know, like and subscribe uh, to our YouTube yeah. channel. If you like what you're seeing, we'll give you more. I mean, I mean, yeah, subscribe, but we're going to give you more either way. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to subscribe, but just know that we hate you if you don't. So. Yeah, well, you don't rate. No, like you don't exist in our eyes. You're less than scum. You're less exactly. than scud in this movie. Wow, that's low. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. See you next week. Bye.